City of Miami Beach, and it is my honor and privilege tonight to present these uh, proclamations and certificates from the City of Miami Beach to the Stray Cats in honor of their new album, and we're very happy that they're here to celebrate it. And I do want to say one thing, I must admit I don't know very much about the Stray Cats, but I do know a little something about South Beach and the recording industry. And I believe that in the years to come, this city and this neighborhood can become a major force in this industry. Just as today, if you go back two to three years, we didn't have a modeling industry or a photo fashion industry. Today, this city of Miami Beach is the world capital of the photo fashion industry. And with the exciting developments that have been happening in the recording industry, the new studios that are opening, the artists who are coming down here to live and to record, I think that our city is going to take its place in the world in, in that industry. And it's through guys like this who come to our city and lend us their name and their credibility that I think it's going to happen. So I'd like to present these certificates to you. Uh, Lee Rocker. Thank you. Brian Setzer. Wow. And Jim Pants, if I may. We'll hold one up. This is the one to Slim Jim Phantom, which says, has on this day been made an honorary citizen of the sun and fun capital of the world. Now that was used about 40 years ago with Jackie Gleason recorded here, but we, we haven't updated our certificates, unfortunately. <laughs> A city dedicated to tourism and year-round vacation living. Family and friends of this honorary citizen are hereby entitled to enjoy our continuous sunshine, tropical climate, palm-shaded parks, and have full use of our wide sandy beaches. And this is an honorary citizenship for the city of Miami Beach. You can come back then. You can come back. Right. <laughs> Anything you want to say now. As an honorary citizen, you oh. can say whatever you want to say. <laughs> well, we've been waiting for it. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, this is really uh, the first time we've been. If I can't can say one other thing, yeah. you'll find out about these citizens in Miami Beach is that they always have something to say. So. <laughs> All right. Well, let me think if I can think of something here. Uh, this is the first time we've ever really spent any real time down here. And, uh, uh, we know people like Mickey Rourke and stuff who moved down here and it's become a very hip place to be and we came down and saw all the renovated Art Deco buildings and it was so great to see that they weren't torn down, that you know, they had managed to save them and build them up and uh, you know, art takes many forms besides music, you know, art, it's an art, architecture, and art, and sculpture and painting and it was so great, you, you just get a great feeling and a great vibe walking around that town. And, uh, I'm definitely coming back now that I have my passport here. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Does this make us high school graduates in Florida? <laughs> well, if you went to Beach High, I mean, there was a lot of good times at Beach High, let me tell you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Miami house rockers and uh, I don't know that to me is just what you know good music is about you know it's rock and rhythm and blues and all and uh, uh, I don't know if they can, you can say they came from a certain distinct area you know I haven't been down here really long enough to tell you how know? about the Mavericks have you heard of the Mavericks no I haven't country uh, Cuban country band got a new CD out no I, I haven't heard any of that stuff <laughs> But this is your first trip down here. It's our first real trip where we spent any time, yeah. We've never really played uh, Miami Beach. We've never uh, played in, in Miami. So years ago, first, when you guys uh, were like cruising, you never toured down here? Or? We would play up in uh, Fort Lauderdale or West Palm Beach. Yeah, we never actually made it into town. Is this an official gig party or do you do this in every city? No, we've never done this. This is an official release album release party of Choo Choo Hot Fish. Which is our new album. And I'm <laughs> curious why you picked Miami. Is that convenient or just everybody wanted to come here? Is it a great place to hang out for you guys? Well, it was a combination of things, really. You know, um, the head of our record company lives here. He's based here. And that record company is? Uh, it's P Pyramid Records. New? It's a new label. And he was just raving about Miami. He said, you have to come down. Just spend some time here. We came down. KSHE had started playing our record. And we did a show for them over the weekend, uh, Memorial Day. And we me and Jim just wanted to hang out. You know, we didn't have any we didn't have to leave, so we said let's hang. And all this has just kind of come together in the past week. Uh, so so far no man, regrets. No man, you know, we've just been uh, having a great time and stuff, you know, hanging out in South Beach. Now you guys have been together off and on since like the early eighties, right? Yeah. Took a break from each other and yeah. I know you made a solo record. Oh, right, I made two solo albums. Yeah. I have a single cuts like a knife. Is that? Oh, uh, knife right? feels like justice. Exactly. I'm sorry. It's all right. Is this? Um, is this this is. Or are you planning on being together a while? This time? I want to be together. I mean, I love playing with the, with the Stray Cats, and uh, I have a lot to say with them. You know, I mean, we didn't get our final kick in yet. This is uh, the first album in four years since '88, and uh, huh? Which I have. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, we spent a lot of time with it, and uh, I'm really happy with it. And you I know think you're fucking can... the odds, because these days it seems like it's either techno, crap, pop, dance stuff, or I call it a drill type. So I know we are bucking the odds, but you got You just got to do what you love and be what you are, and you know you're looking at it. <laughs> so. Yeah. Are you guys gigging tonight? Or We'll get up there when the band starts to get going. Yeah. I was surprised to see you down here. Well, I, Cindy, I, I feel like I kind of got... I really wanted to come down and do it, but I'm not like the groupie type to hang out. But she said, just go down and do it. You'll have fun. <laughs> so I did it. Oh, no. no. You know. I, I mean, see, I was, I was 21 when I saw you guys in Norman. And I, I braved a tough part of D.C. to see you the same oh, year. Yeah. I was interning with uh, some congressional type. And I, I took...
Uh, let me get some names that are free all over the beach. Uh, that's the main office. You can get them at Pospongo, uh, News Cafe, Palace Grill, Apple, you know, anywhere around. Right. I, 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 I like your right. right. uh,
this is a Toledo for this girl and I'm on with the uh, bikini contest. We're all contestants for this girl.
one second, right? Please have everybody's attention, please. Okay, thanks, I enjoyed that.